Hi, I hope you're keeping well. This is going to be a niche video for doctors who are planning to sit their medical exam in the spring season. First thing first, make sure that you smash the like button. With the outbreak of COVID-19 disease, all postgraduate exams have been cancelled until further notice. The Royal College of GP has also cancelled the CSA sitting for March, April and May. I know some people who have managed to sit in early March before the restriction and lockdown. I know also some colleagues who've already booked their CSA for March and made arrangements in terms of transport and accommodation, but the CSA was cancelled a few days notice, so they're going to have to sit it at the next sitting. This has left registrars in uncertainty because nobody knows when the CSA exam will be rescheduled and because of what's happening with the COVID-19 disease, things are evolving day by day and we don't really know when the restriction will be lifted and the lockdown situation would be changed. So at the moment, many registrars are actually waiting and not knowing when the exams will be rescheduled. COVID-19 disease outbreak is stressful in itself. Now, not knowing when to sit the exam can be also a source of stress for many GP registrars because some of you may have to sit the exam um, you're supposed to finish your training this August and um, some people may have to sit both the AKT and the CSA and were supposed to complete the training in August 2020 and uh, this is going to cause a knock-on effect if you had to extend your training because of you have to sit in the exam and so far we don't know when the exam would be schedule because we don't know about when the restriction and the lockdown will be lifted. There's a lot of uncertainties at the moment and um, as the days go by we'll get some more clarity as to what's going to happen next. But if you think about it, um, it's unlikely that the exam would be um, back on in the next two months because it might take a while before the restrictions are lifted um, um, before the Royal College can actually put the exam back on but things ch can change rapidly so we don't really know. Um, my perspective on preparing for the exam is to keep practicing even if I don't really know when the exam will be back on because I've been practicing for month now and I don't want to get this scale because at the moment at work the way we're seeing patient is mainly telephone triaging so we're not getting much interaction face to face and for the CSA it's important to have this interaction face to face so that's a very good reason to keep practicing especially if you're not seeing patient face to face that frequently at work. The other thing to say is that when the exam will be back on, we don't really know how much notice we will get before knowing when the next sitting will be. So to stay ready, to be alert and prepare is one of the best options actually to, to make sure that you maximize the art of success on clearing this exam. It's worth considering that if somebody is practicing intensely for months, then one can easily get burned out from this. So this is why I decided that I'm going to keep practicing on a weekly basis and I'm going to practice less intensely than what I would be if I was sitting in May. When I get some clarity about when the next sitting would be, then I can intensify the preparation so that I can make sure that my practice is back on where it needs to be. It can be more tricky to practice in this time of crisis when people are self-isolating and the VTS is being done online. So at the moment what I'm doing is I'm practicing online. So I'm using Skype to connect with another VTS trainee and practicing with that trainee. If you've been practicing with your colleagues after VTS, it might be a good idea to think about practicing online so you could connect on a Skype or Zoom and do a few sessions to make sure that you maintain your skills so that you don't get rusty. When the time comes to sit the exam, you will be more ready and more prepared. I appreciate it's a difficult time and if you have children or other commitment, it might be more difficult to actually keep practicing. However, the thing is, if you've been practicing for weeks or months, 
you want to make sure that you keep practicing to stay in touch with the clinical skills because if you don't practice in all your preparation you might have to start again so that's why it's important that you maintain the skills let me know what you think. I'd be interested to know whether you keep practicing for your CSA during this time of crisis or you might take this as an opportunity to have a break because some people might find that this is a good time to take a break because of the stress of work and other things that's going on. Um, each person learns differently so if you think that this might be a good time for you to take a break and then resume your practice once you know when the exam would be then this is a different strategy that might work for you regardless of which strategy you choose it's more important than ever you look after your well-being a gp registrar is a very stressful job and it's going to get more challenging over the next few weeks um, make sure that you're looking after your well-being if you find that you're feeling a bit stressed or you're feeling a bit anxious then make sure that you seek support Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you've not already subscribed to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for future videos. I hope you find this video useful. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.